And it always, to me, felt like a failure of fatherhood in their life. What's up, guys? Jeff and Jeremy here. Another episode of 5-Minute Fatherhood. Today's topic, which I just laughed with Jeremy about because he types these up, is don't encourage your kids into long-term indentured servitude, which, Matt, if you're editing this, I don't know if that's going to be the actual <laughs> formal title. That'll be tough to put on a thumbnail and tough to put on iTunes. But I do like that in regards to actually the topic we're talking about, and that's probably actually what it'll be or something. Maybe don't encourage your kids into long-term debt slavery. I don't know. We'll figure that title out later. But this is a fascinating <laughs> conversation. Now, of course, this is a sensitive conversation. A lot of people in America have tons of debt. Uh, a lot of it is debt we feel like we needed to take on, right? Some of it is bad and wrong. We, we got too big of a house that we know we didn't need to, blah, blah, blah. Most of the people I know uh, are stepping into a just crushing debt that they did believe was for the right reason, schooling, maybe it was a house reason, etc. So this is a sensitive conversation we totally understand. But and so don't, 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 um, when we're speaking here, I think first thing I would encourage you guys for these next five, seven minutes is don't hear us say, um, that, uh, you know, that's, it's bad or there's something wrong with it or whatever. What we're saying is, man, I think all of us can agree with that. The ideal is to not be in debt. So what would it look like to generationally try to make that plan, right? It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to get out of debt in five days. So towards your can, can you as a father spend almost an entire generation to set your family up to be a family that does not take on this style of debt? Cause there's a whole different, different versions of debt. Um, this kind of this crushing debt that kills right. the generation, kills your ability, kills your resources, kills your, uh, uh, kind of one of those streams of, of capital. So yeah, Jeremy, what do you, what do you say on that then? How, how what do you kind of mean in here? When you say all this, yeah, guys. Well, <clears throat> and I, I want to talk specifically to the the fathers who are thinking about their own kids, even if you have really young children. Mm. When you think about uh, what what is part of your role to set up your kids for future success, um, it's to be careful and understand that the, the culture has a pathway to essentially um, make your child an indentured servant for. For decades, and we've seen this with yeah. the way that people have taken on enormous debts for school, and this is some of the most difficult debt ever because there are special protections. You can't file bankruptcy when you have student loan debt, and so you know, as I have had conversations, you know, when I was uh, in the CEO role, we'd be hiring people. I'd have a very consistent conversation with a lot of people that were one hundred fifty thousand dollars or more in debt. Uh, they, they would have a degree in something that generally pays like maybe $40,000 a year, and they went almost $200,000 in debt to get, that, um, <clears throat> to get that degree. And it always, to me, felt like a failure of fatherhood in their life. I was like, man, while you were you know, enjoying those four years and getting really, in a lot of cases, a great education, um, there was nobody really to, for you to sit down with and actually calculate yeah. whether or not this was a good idea and that, you know, the kinds yeah, of decisions assumed. you watch, it's just heartbreaking that a lot of these um, men and women had to make after school uh, and that could really yeah. affect their future family um, was was really a bummer. And when they when they talk about, yeah, I asked my parents what they thought and my parents were like, yeah, yeah, that's just what people do today. Go for it. And the parents yeah. didn't realize, particularly, again, I just expect the father to to give really good advice in this area. Um one father who's kind of giving hard advice to uh, lots of people in this generation around this is um, uh, Mike Rao from uh, Dirty Jobs fame. Yeah, he he has this really famous quote, which I love. He says, we are lending money we don't have to kids who can't pay it back to train them for jobs that no longer exist. Uh, and I think mm. that what he is, where he's putting emphasis is that we're giving this to kids. Uh, that That always is what stands out to me in this uh, in this quote, yeah. we are lending money we don't have to kids who can't pay it back to train them for jobs that no longer exist. And so who's who's supposed to help kids? Um, because loan sharks have existed in every single society, um, and these are just people who have the power to pay back, to enforce loans, and to make sure that there's no way you can get out of it. Uh, it's a powerful thing in in every culture, and we have those today, and they seem friendly to us because they're helping us get through school. Um, but they can also they can also uh, really do incredible damage to the next generation. And I just think it's important for you guys to understand wherever you're at on this topic, whatever you're wrestling with, like like Jeff said, a lot of us just were given bad advice in this area. Um, just know that it's important for you to think about 
how you are going to be advising your kids and how you're going to be pre- preparing your family so that when your kids are 35 and you know trying to raise a family, they're not sitting with a mound of debt that there's no way for them to very easily or very quickly get out from under. And so that's our job as parents to be helping our kids not make those kinds of long-term mistakes.